around these parts there's a legend of our time. You can hear his name being whispered in the wind if you listen. Letter it sent down. Letter it sent down. Wow. Letter it sent down. The most generous man I've ever met. Haven't met him, but I would love to. Today we talk about who Flat Earth Santa is and how he blessed our hearts and how we'll never forget him. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I'm certainly not vlogging on a 50 mil lens. I wouldn't do that. Is there someone behind me? He was Tone for a second there. So we're on the Olympus EM1 Mark III, one of Flat Earth Santa's gifts. And the Panasonic 25 mil, 21.7. That's a friend borrowed item. That's, that's, that's ruining my audio. You're forgiven because you're Tana now. So I've been very lucky on this channel with camera gifts. Some people might call me a spoiled brat. I get it. First it was Marcus Pix and no, Marcus Pix is not flat or Santa. They're equally generous to the whole world. They just, they're two guys, two different cities and they just give from the bottom of their heart. For nothing in return, they just want to spread the joy of photography. I used his gifts for photography, I promise. But Marcus Pix was the first person to reach out to me, just say, hey, you want a camera? He was like, oh, you're on the search for the perfect camera, huh? I have about 1,500 in my basement. Would you like one? And he gave me a list, and I was just blown away by that list. I was like, are you kidding me? I get to pick any one of these? And I was looking through, I was like, okay, Sony RX1R, full frame. 35 milliquiv, that's good enough. Tony too, sign me up. And he's like, that thing overheats hard. You might as well get an easy bake oven. So I was like, okay, plan B. Sony A6400, sign me up. He's like, that actually doesn't work with my certain lens you want, oh, but. So I went with plan C, the Panasonic GH5S. Take that. So we got that and the Leica 12 mil 21.4 and we had some dignity for once. It was much easier to make YouTube videos instead of focusing on myself with that Mitocon. So I was like, ah, oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I still have it, I promise. And then after that, for some reason, I kept getting these generous offers. Somebody, the Fugginator, Fugster on Instagram, he was like, do you want this Panasonic 15 mil 1.7? It's a Leica. Are you okay with Leica? <laughs> And so like all I had to pay was the custom fee. That was it. It's like, oh, thank you so much. There's a dog. And then Ian Corzine reaches out with the Canon M50 and some lenses and the Sony A6300 with lenses and camera bags. And those were good. Those were good. The Panasonic GH5S honestly killed them both. I was like, you know what? Canon, uh, I like your colors. Autofocus, that's, that's a nice change. Change of scenery, but just the image wasn't good enough so I gave the M50 away, sold the A6300 and did nothing good with the money. Corzine also gave us the GoPro 9, the worst gift in the history of gifts. You can barely call it that, it was more of a curse. <laughs> that thing just froze so much but then he redeemed himself <laughs> with the GoPro 10 and that thing's been amazing. Finally they made it, they got their shit together. Surfer boys got together, had a meeting, it's like let's stop drinking on the beach. They made something good. That's when the legend appeared. Flat Earth Santa. I tell you, I made a video one day saying, what are, these are the cameras that I think could be perfect that I haven't tried yet. And I forget what cameras were on that list. I just know that the G9 was one of them. And he left a comment saying, I have a G9, you want it? Not joking. I was like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> this man reached into the bottom of his heart. Not only was the G9 on its way to my house, but several lenses, like good ones, the Leica 8 to 18, and the 12 to 60, and like a bunch of the Laua, the little tiny Laua. All this stuff heading my way, and I was like, wow. I had so much fun just testing that. Oh my God. Why didn't I walk any faster? Who's this? Where are they? How are they so fast? <laughs> You're Tone now, sir. Where will he go next? Oh, that's shaky. Let's hope he gets there safe. So I get this G9, I'm comparing it to the G85, I'm having fun. Autofocus was so good on that thing. I was so impressed. And he reaches out again, he's like, do you want the EM1 Mark III? I was like, are you kidding me? 
he sends that over with the EM1 Mark II with a little asterisk beside that one. That was converted to infrared, so I made that Venus vlog, vlogging from another planet. That was fun. That took a long time to get there. It was hot. In that package, there was also a bunch of other lenses. I forget which ones came with which package, but like the Olympus 8mm 1.8, and just a bunch of stuff. And here I am with like five <laughs> micro four thirds cameras, the G85, GH5S, G9, and Olympus, and the infrared one. Now surely he was done with the gifts. So that's like thousands of dollars, so much joy to be had. Perfect Olympus camera. The first video I botched the settings hard, but after we changed some shit, it was like, wow, I fell in love with that thing. We're still on it. We are still on it. It's the best camera I ever made, but none of it was full frame. I had the full frame itch. It wasn't being scratched by these tiny little sensors. He reaches out one more time. Do you want the Panasonic S1? I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That's full frame. Is Panty Boy full frame? Bullshit autofocus algorithms designed by a dog dog with rabies but I put it to the test in my mind I was like you know what I tried that Panasonic S1H with the 50 mil it also focused fine like it was smooth I was like maybe Panasonic did fix it sure we have no flippy screen but I could get around it with a mirror I accepted the gift now here's where I feel I crushed his heart it, he was so happy to see me with that thing first it was fun I had a full frame camera for the first time Outdoors, it was looking fantastic. I had that Viltrox 20mm Tony 2. It was a cinema lens, like 800 grams or something. I've never seen a better image. And he left me a comment saying like, you, you have no idea how much joy it brings me to see you having fun with that Panasonic. I didn't know why at the time, I still don't. But then things went haywire. And he got me the Fuji X-T4 that killed the Panasonic. I mean, the Fuji X-T4 was basically like a full-frame camera. Like, to me, it looked better than the S1. And it had better autofocus. And it was better IBIS and a flippy screen, and it was tiny. I was like, I just, I like this thing so much more. And I think that hurt him. I ended up selling the S1, and imagine giving somebody a super expensive gift. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy that. Oh, you sold it. Like, I'm so sorry, but I just, I thought the X-T4 was better. I could put the money towards better glass, but I imagine that would hurt. I mean, I gave my friend a PlayStation 3 and he was like, oh, cool, man, thanks. I'll give this to my daughter. I was like, no, I don't even know your daughter. I wouldn't give it to your daughter. I'm giving it to you. But you can't decide what people do with love. It's their love to spread. And he wasn't done there. After seeing the X-T4 struggles, I fell in love with that camera so hard and I'm trying to vlog with it and it ain't autofocusing on me. He's losing every video. He's like, sell that thing. God, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> and then he gives me his whole Sony kit. Let's stop, let's stop. What's up? <laughs> You're loud. So he ends up sending me his Sony a7 III with like every lens he had. We're talking like good ones too, that 90mm macro, 20mm 1.8, all the Tamron zooms, the Trinity, just everything. I was like blown away. It's like, how? How can one man give so much? And he never wanted anything in return. He didn't want to be mentioned on the channel. Like, it's just a gift. Some people think, oh, what's his, what's his motive? Like, a bunch of comments down there, stupid people. Like, he's Buddhist. He just likes to give. He wants to be generous. And once you get to a point you see other people's happiness is more important than yours. I just read this Buddhist book from my girlfriend and think of this. You're one person. Your happiness is one. Imagine you could please 10 people. Make them happy. That's 10 times your happiness. And it's just like there's no joy in doing things selfishly for yourself. I've always known this. Like I used to, when I got my first job, I was a bike courier, I'm making money. And I'm like, oh, I got money, what can I buy? And I'm getting like t-shirts and CDs and none of it brought me joy. But buying my mom little animal statues, once a week, I would just buy one. I'm searching all over the city. She was in a Buddhist monastery for a year. I didn't see her. And when she came back, she came back to a forest of animals and that brought me joy 
giving to others. So I get it. I'm not gonna lie to you. That fire truck could bring me a lot of joy right now. That's a lot of good stuff down there. There's glasses that could hide my eye aids. I would like that. So if that wasn't enough already, we're talking like $50,000 worth of gear, like every system you could ever have. He chips in for the Sony a7S III when it was announced. He saw it, he was like, that's your perfect camera, buddy. I'll chip in. And he put a good chunk of money in. And how do you repay a guy like that? I tried to send him brownies, but oh man, the, the heat. The heat wave got them. He has a black mailbox. I sent them coconut macaroons. They turned yellow. I suck at repaying thanks. Uh, I suck at that. But thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Like during those times, that was like 2020. Y'all know things were getting weird. And that was like my major distraction. I had so much fun just testing gear like the whole year. It seemed I had so much. There was so many different combinations that I could have tested. And then I'm getting gear from Can Camera Canada to compare. And then I'm okay. And then Canon EOS R versus this. And just so much joy. Thank you so much. I moved you. We changed the scene because you were about to click off due to the uninteresting content I have provided you today. But now you're, you're still with me. I tell you. So, like... Obviously, I couldn't keep it all at some point. Like, I had so much stuff. I was living by myself. My whole desk is full of lenses and cameras everywhere. And I started just narrowing it down. Like, what do I really love here? It's that Fuji X-T4. I definitely didn't sell that one recently. I could love things for longer. You don't know that I couldn't. So I'll forever be grateful to you, my friend. I may not have kept all the gear, but I had a blast testing it all and then just selling off what I didn't need putting that money towards better stuff not that your gifts were terrible just buying better lenses and then I still have money that I'm willing to put into other stuff if camera companies get their shit together I'm looking around it's like what could I get oh there's not much that I would buy that's better than what I have thanks to Flat Earth Santa and he taught me that it's not all about gear I don't think he maybe he did mean to teach me that it's like you think this whole journey you're on it's all about the gear and okay here it is take it all here's everything I'm still searching even though I have the best stuff I still look it's not all about the gear it's a never-ending trap that you'll just keep going for the next thing it doesn't matter what you buy you could get that 24 mil G master lens right now it's like okay now what what, what would you need beyond that nothing so he taught me a good lesson he gave me gas and then cured the gas. It was good times. I'm actually in a talks right now with somebody who has that like a 25 mil. I might do it just for videos like this. Oh man, the gas has me hard. I didn't cure anything. Ah, oh, that hurts. But thank you so much for the gifts and just be nice. Just be nice and the world will reward you. I still give. I don't like talking about it. In the beginning, I was like, yeah, I gave away my G85. I'm trying to let you know that I do give, but giving and then telling somebody completely ruins the good deed so just know even though i'm ruining it now by saying that this is the last time i do give i have bought people things i just search for the perfect guy it's like you need a good upgrade and i'll get it so thank you for instilling that generosity i didn't have it before all right this is getting heavy i got a couple weird lenses a camera company sent me so i'm gonna film that review on my way home this should get weird fast so Thank you all so much for watching the video and thumbing it up, of course. I'm buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. I'll use the money for fisheye lenses. That's not what you needed. I get it. Subscribe.